The fundamental rule of proportions means that we have to cross multiply to solve them. This is a model of what a proportion looks like. It looks like a fraction, an equal sign, and another fraction. Proportions can be used to solve a lot of math problems, and they're very easy to solve as well, so long as we know how to cross multiply. Cross multiply means we multiply the top of one side by the bottom of the other, and write it like this, and then that's equal to the bottom of the first side times the top of the other. We write it like that. Let's do an example to illustrate it. Here we have a top of x, a bottom of 7, a top of 8, a bottom of 28. Top times bottom means x times 28. I'll write that as 28x. Bottom times top means 7 times 8. So I put equals and 7 times 8. Simplifying, I'll start by multiplying the 7 and the 8. And I get 56. Then, if I divide both sides by 28, I can cross out these. My x is isolated, and it's equal to 56 divided by 28, which is 2. We can verify that this is correct by plugging the 2 into the original proportion. So the fundamental rule of proportion simply means cross-multiply. Top times bottom equals bottom times top. Now let's look at some other examples. In this proportion, we actually have an algebraic expression in one of the positions. And we can still solve this. Top times bottom means x plus 1 times 6. I'll write it as 6x plus 1 equals bottom times top is 3 times 22. 3 times 22 is 66. And 6 times the bracket x plus 1 is 6x plus 6. Let's move the 6 to the other side. 6x equals 66 minus 6, which is 60. If 6x equals 60, we divide both sides by 6. Cancel. x is equal to 60 divided by 6, which is 10. And if we plug that 10 into the x position in our original proportion, it will verify. Over here, we have two algebraic expressions occupying two of the positions. And this can still be solved with cross-multiplication. Top times bottom becomes 2 times x minus 3. Bottom times top becomes 4 times x plus 2. This simplifies to 2x minus 6 equals 4x plus 8. Let's get all of the x's to the right side this time, and all of the numbers to the left side. So I keep my negative 6 here. If I move the 8 to the other side, it becomes minus 8. I'll keep my 4x here. If I move the 2x to the right side, it becomes minus 2x. This becomes negative 14 equals 2x. And now if we divide both sides by 2, these cancel. Our x is isolated and is equal to negative 14 divided by 2, which is negative 7. If we plug x equals negative 7 into both of these positions in the original proportion, it will verify. Therefore, using algebra skills we are already developing, and the knowledge of cross-multiplication, top times bottom equals bottom times top, even complex proportions like this can be solved easily.